I find three or four pieces like this, I'm going to be able to, to shingle my entire shelter with it. With some uh, birch bark, with some dry birch. And look, we got another great piece right over here too. Now this one's a little rotted out, but that's okay. You don't always need a big, perfect piece. I'm going to build uh, an A-frame. So this is going to be the ridge pole of the A-frame shelter right here. And I'm just going to, you know, I collected some rocks and I'm going to build the fire right up against this nice rock wall. It overhangs a bit and it'll help keep some of the rain off. And, um, but uh, also it's going to help reflect the heat, which is really good. So that rock's going to stay nice and hot and it's going to just radiate that heat back on me all night. really want to make sure that all those pine needles are away from around the outside especially I got a whole bunch of spruce boughs that I'm going to chop uh, spruce um, uh, logs that is I'm going to chop up and boughs too and then I'm going to uh, you know I'm going to basically use the boughs as as, uh, as roofing but also to sleep on Gotta be careful that your axe doesn't slip when the handle's all wet like it is right now. Okay. Yeah, well, that's it. So it looks like I'm gonna need a substantial bit more wood. If this isn't enough wood, I think I'm just gonna spread out what I have. I could make two out of this one. Now I'm just going to uh, put a layer of these evergreen boughs over this. to gather a lot of good birch bark and with this rainy weather I mean nothing makes better shingles than this stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting some of this on right now of course I'm, I'm putting the best pieces up to where my head is and my torso are gonna be it's not as bad if your legs get wet I got some fire, some wood laid in. I got it shingled and uh, looks like it's going to work out. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is actually, uh, this, this shelter is really holding the heat in better than I even thought. I'm going to have to figure out a better way to get in though without almost burning my face off. got that nice rock reflecting the heat back and then it reflects back into here 
and it really seems to uh, hold the heat in here quite well actually and the birch bark is going to keep me nice and dry definitely ready to get some sleep this is great It's actually a really beautiful morning here. I woke up to a substantial amount of snow falling, and uh, it didn't. It, it you know it might have been a little disturbing to some people in my situation, but because I was warm, it was actually really beautiful. So, you know, I just wanted to uh, make sure, you know, because I'm going to be off uh, doing things and, and gathering some food that um, I have a, a nice fire going when I get back. So I'm just going to do this as a little, a little precautionary method. Wintergreen makes a great tea and the berries are delicious. Let's see if this works. Thank you. 